Hello and welcome back to Sunboy Online. Now, with all of the Wallace and Gromit Vengeance most foul stuff coming out at the minute, it's been kind of hard to keep up and we could have potentially missed some things. So when we take a look at the official poster, which is here, if you're familiar with a certain item from meme culture, what's familiar is, is Gromit's expression here. I don't know about any of you. It's, um, I don't know, vaguely familiar. The Gromit mug is in Vengeance Most Foul, confirmed, definitely not, but it's a bit of a something, it's a maybe, it's possibly a reference. Uh, this is what happens when you spend too much time doing this. But no, I'm going to show you why that Gromit's expression here is actually identical to that of the PG Tips Gromit mug from 2005. And I know that they are floating around in the admin offices as there was a picture of Nick and Merlin, the directors of the film, with the Gromit mug. So they're definitely aware of it, which, which is mad. So is it too much of a stretch to assume that this is kind of a homage to it, even though the Gromit mug itself is a homage to Gromit raising his eyebrow, but I'll show you what I mean. So I've taken the liberty of preparing a specimen back here. So let's have a look. The Gromit mug collection. Oh. Yeah, this is mental. There's a bit of a behind the scenes look at uh, some boy online. But yeah, this is my original Gromit mug from 2005 that uh, my Nana and Granda got us from a market, one of many. It's kind of inspired the whole the Gromit mug saga because um, it became a meme and then I recognized it because of owning this and uh, the rest is history. There is the raised eyebrow expression of which we speak. As you can see, it's Gromit's right eyebrow that's raised. Left as you look at him, but Gromit's right. So you could just say that, uh, you know, this is a coincidence and maybe it is. But the more you stare at it, the more you realize how spot on the model of the Gromit mug was. And the more I started to think, what if I actually augmented Gromit slightly to resemble the Gromit mug more? Because why the hell not? And I'm now going to show you the result of that Photoshop experiment, which isn't any weird AI programs or anything. It's just I uh, made some slight adjustments to demonstrate the similarities to the Gromit mug. So by removing the background and Gromit's ears, we're presented with this kind of very familiar, just the shape of Gromit's head without any ears, which is kind of weird, but also very familiar looking because it's basically just this but there are elements in the image that can be used to complete the Gromit mug look if you look at the original background you'll see that Gromit's right ear is extremely reminiscent of the handle that you hold it's bent perfectly in the in the shape minus this nice chip here so of course I had to copy this ear and uh, stick it on the side as you can see here so yeah there it is Gromit mug in real life we're done but we're not done, no. Grom is missing his other ear and um, his eyes aren't looking at us, so we need to fix that. So the next thing I did was just to grab another pair of Gromit eyes and uh, voila. Now, it's looking much more Gromit mug-like, entirely using real elements from the actual Gromit puppet. I almost forgot this last bit, but Gromit's other ear, which kind of sits uh, nicely down the side, was missing, so let's bring that in as well. And voila, isn't that quite cool? Like, I was quite impressed with that. <laughs> like, this was done as just a, a cool kind of experiment. Like, hmm, that looks familiar. Now we've got a grommet mug in the in the um, in the bloody Ardman style. If they ever made one, I imagine it would look like this. But I didn't stop there because now I had this a really cool looking grommet mug that fits into the style of Wallace and Gromit in the new movie. So considering the context of the poster. I just had to do a bit of an edit. So if we zoom back out um, and view the poster, you can see this is the Gromit mug overlaid onto Gromit's head. The size hasn't been changed or anything. And if we take these layers away and add these other ones, can you possibly guess what I've done? Never mind Wallace there for two seconds. There's an ear on the side, I basically just covered bits up, copied them in. And voila, that is quite cool. A slight bit of shadow going around him, but for the finishing touch, he's got some tea coming out of it. That's slightly disturbing, isn't it? Considering the real Gromit is right there. Oh my God, speaking of dis uh, disturbing, I've forgotten Wallace's eyes. 
there we go. Last thing is I adjusted the pupils of Wallace to look down at the grommet mug, which is why he looked possessed for two seconds. But yeah, I was quite chuffed with that. <laughs> I don't think grommet is quite, and it's a bit of a weird scenario. So now if you add this as the poster, you've got grommet, displeased Norbot stuck in the middle of him, and also presumably the ceramic replica of his own head being held by Wallace. Yeah, it's a bit weird. But yeah, in regards to the new film, with Ardman being Ardman and as big of a thing as this ridiculous grommet mug became, I could totally imagine it being some random hidden reference in the background. So before the film comes out, I couldn't help but try and imagine what that would look like. And the result is a cool, uh, yet slightly disturbing, realistic grommet mug. I mean, Wallace seems to enjoy it. Let's have a nice hot cup of tea. Mm? But yeah, all in all, it's been interesting to be such a big part of the Gromit Mugs kind of journey. After it became this meme, very randomly, I did a video on the origins of the Gromit Mug like four years ago now, and um, that kind of took off. And then there was a, a sequel where I got all the different versions of the Gromit Mug, and that took off and kind of spread around the internet. And then suddenly I became that Gromit Mug bloke and pictures of me with the mugs popped up in other videos um, and the whole thing's just been completely ridiculous and really quite hilarious so yeah i don't know if you enjoyed that or if you, you're traumatized by it but genuinely i'm in two minds as to whether this was specifically a reference to the grommet mug or am i just spending far too much time looking into all this stuff and it's just grommet raising an eyebrow but it is his right eyebrow <laughs> so the connection the connection remains so yeah, let us know if you think the uh, reference was intentional or not, whether I'm going insane, and um, if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more Wallace and Gromit content. So thanks for watching everyone, from me and the OG Gromit mug, and uh, I'll see you next time.